Good morning and welcome to ETX Covered. I'm David Lippman. We are in the final month of the legislative session down in Austin, which means lots of bills that could impact your life or reverberate nationwide are being debated right now. One that got its final vote of approval this week is Senate Bill 8, the heartbeat bill. It's the most ambitious step yet in Republicans' fight against abortion. It would force doctors to check for a fetal heartbeat, and if they found one, they would be banned from performing an abortion. The only exception is if there's a medical emergency, not if there's rape or incest. Representatives on both sides made emotional statements about the bill, including its House sponsor, Representative Thank Shelby Mr. Swanson, whose mother was advised to abort her, and Representative Donna stories. Howard, a registered nurse, who said a fetal heartbeat is generally detectable at six weeks, which is often before a woman even knows she's pregnant. The complications and those dire prognoses continued. The back and forth travel to the doctor continued. And that heartbeat continued. And then one Tuesday in May, that new mom greeted her newborn, this surprisingly normal baby. This is the worst day of the session every single session, and this stuff keeps coming up. You guys know that there have always been abortions and there always will be. Despite the obstructions that you're putting in place here. 13 states have passed similar laws. Democrats say it's part of a political strategy to ban abortion in America. Here with some additional perspective on the bill is Mary Castle. She is a policy advisor for Texas Values, a conservative nonprofit that supports pro-life legislation. Mary, thanks for joining me today. Yes, it's great to be here. I'm glad to talk to you about some important legislation. First, when it comes to Senate Bill 8, are you surprised either positively or negatively by the amount of support for the bill? Yes, Texas Values, we are very pleased with the support that we have for this bill. There were so many uh, people who came out to testify in the Senate chamber and even the House chamber. I mean, we had testimony going to midnight both times it was heard. Uh, we even had college students come out and support the bill, many from the San Antonio area, some from here that go to UT in Austin, and we were just really pleased at the different ages and just the different backgrounds of young women, of course, and even other people from religious backgrounds, non-religious backgrounds that came out to support SB8. Given that bills like this have been passed in several states and given that Texas has a history for pro-life legislation, why do you think this bill got so much attention and so much criticism? Well, I think the Texas heartbeat bill is very strong. And I think, as people say, as go Texas, so goes the nation. People are just really excited for Texas to have this type of bill. And this one is really strong because unlike other types of heartbeat bills in other states, uh, this one has civil enforcement. So this one will be stronger. Uh, it'll be harder to challenge um, in the Supreme Court or any other type of courts because of that civil enforcement. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that part because the bill makes it so that anyone can file a complaint against a parent who drives a 14-year-old to a Planned Parenthood, for instance. You see that as a warranted piece of this bill, but a lot of people think it goes too far. So why do you think it's a good thing? I believe the bill, like when it points to a, an abetting, uh, what it is trying to do is really tackle uh, a lot of people who are involved in the medical process. You know, when it comes to getting an abortion, there are many people at different levels uh, when it comes to, you know, counseling, uh, when it comes to some of the influences that are on college campuses that kind of lead people uh, to get an abortion. Um, there are so many players in the abortion industry besides the doctor themselves. And so I think that's what aiding and abetting in this bill is really about. And another common critique is about the timing of the fetal heartbeat that this bill is based on. A lot of experts say that six weeks is generally when a heartbeat can first be detected. But there are some doctors who will say that that's not really a heartbeat because it's an embryo that doesn't have a heart at that point and a true heartbeat can't be detected until 10 or 11 weeks. And any law that's vague like that tends to lead to lawsuits. So do you think this bill should have been tightened up? Well, we think the bill is strong right now because it requires doctors to actually detect for a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And so with that requirement, uh, we'll know for sure when a heartbeat is. Now, scientifically, uh, it has been proven that you can detect a heartbeat as early as six weeks, sometimes even five weeks. Uh, we know that maybe the weeks may be different, um, but the bill is more about just making sure that doctors do detect for a heartbeat because what we're seeing is that 
um, you know, even with the 20 week abortion ban, we're still seeing so many babies um, being aborted before that time. Do you think this bill will be the last we see of new abortion restrictions in Texas? Or do you think further sessions will have different bills and more that lawmakers try to do? Well, I think the heartbeat bill passing is a huge step in protecting life. Uh, it's a great measure that'll save so many lives, so many babies' lives. Uh, but I think there's still some work to be done. We have certain bills this session besides the heartbeat bill, like funding, you know, going to Planned Parenthood, um, an abortion assistance that we've seen here even in Austin, Texas. So even though the heartbeat bill, you know, does seem like the grand finale, I think there's still a lot to be done about saving lives, um, even on the side of just helping mothers um, after they make the decision to keep the lives of their babies, you know, making sure that they have the resources available um, once they give birth to their babies. So there's still more to be done in the pro-life movement, but the heartbeat bill passing is a big Steps. Mary, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.